guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I'm doing a review of one of my newer decks called Vivid Soul or Oracle, and this was created by Jessica Rasmussen, and this was a deck that I got off of Etsy, um, and <laughs> I've been having so much fun with this, and I've had so many great readings with it thus far. Um, I will say for the little box, it's okay, you know, but I'm thinking of um, maybe finding a little, little pouch or something to put this in. It's just, you know, kind of a, a flimsy little box. It doesn't have um, a guidebook or anything, but I think the cards are pretty self-explanatory, so I'm, I'm okay without a guidebook. <laughs> but I want to show you the backs of the cards here. And I love the beautiful colors that were used. Um, the cardstock is a linen finish, you know, so they're very bendable, but I, I think um, the cards are gonna stand up very well, you know, over a long period of time with use. And uh, hey, let's just go ahead and jump into this since, um, you know, <laughs> since we're here. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. So. I love, like I said, the the colors and the cards. The I don't know the the artwork. I love like you can see all. I love being able to see brush strokes, you know, in in paintings and kind of how all the colors just kind of blend together. Um, the keywords sometimes they'll be at the bottom, sometimes they'll be at the top. They'll they're kind of all over the place. But like I said, the you know, as far as uh, a guidebook, I don't mind because I think that, you know, there's enough uh, in the imagery and the little keyword um, for your intuition to have fun. Love the little yellow bird in her hair. Oh my gosh. So like I said, it's, it's a newer deck for me. So I've had it for a little less than a month now, but I've used it quite a bit. And sometimes I just like to sit and like look through each of the cards and kind of see what comes up for me. Kind of like I'm doing now <laughs> for this review. But there's so much the blending. It's so soft. That's and maybe that's what I'm trying to say. It's soft, but the readings for me are not like super soft. They're not like cotton candy. Um, I still think the, the readings are pretty good, um, but it's just the images and just kind of where your mind goes. It's just a lot softer. And this card kept coming up for me quite a bit the past week. I thought that was interesting. Love the little boy there. <laughs> this was actually the card that got me to buy this deck. It was on my wish list for quite some time, but you know, the dude and I love sea otters, and um, <laughs> he, he always says that if he doesn't hold my hand like a little sea otter, that I'll float away. <laughs> and the flamingos, you know, it just makes me think of San Diego, where I'm from. So we have a lot of flamingos. Well, depending on where you are. And I do have a lot of hummingbirds in my front and backyard. And to me, it's also, I mean, I may know this is like a waterfall, but it just feels like, like bright white light, too. me these cards are perfect I love how I don't know just just it's it's like got a like a childish feel to it but obviously you have to be quite the artist to be able to put all this together it's like you know it's I don't know it's got a I don't know it's just quirky like fun quirky 
makes me nostalgic. Hmm. Loki has also come over for the review. He's just kind of watching. You know, Loki's actually really good at picking cards. <laughs> Wally doesn't uh, care all that much. But Loki, Loki on the other hand. Oh, this was the other one. I liked, okay, so I liked the other one with the, um, the sea otter. And then uh, this one with the metamorphosis is just freaking awesome. And this is the image that is on the little tuck box. And lastly, letting go. All right, so let's zoom back out. Let me do just a little shuffle shuffle for you guys. Maybe pull a card just so you can see how I might read with it. This is just very general. So, I mean, if it connects with you, good. If it doesn't, that's, that's okay. All right, so let's just pull a little card here. Let's, let's see what we got going on. Ooh, we got instinct. These guys seem to be coming up a lot. All right, so I would say um, right away, <laughs> what a feeling I have with this card uh, for instinct is if you have been, if you feel like your gut is telling you one thing, but everybody else is telling you another, I always say go with the gut. I know it's so hard to break free from the crowd and free from peer pressure and free from what everybody else is saying. Um, but when you, you know, look down inside of yourself and you know you're looking for the answer and you know that you have pushed ego to the side and you've pushed everything else to the side and all that's left is what you feel is the thing that you should do or the direction that you should go then you should go <laughs> go with that um, because the more you trust your gut and the more you follow your instinct and you follow your intuition, the stronger it gets. And that's actually how you build it. That's how you build your psychic muscles, your instinctual muscles, I should say. So yeah, see how lovely I, I love <laughs> these cards just um, make for such great readings. Um, but anyway, um, so yeah, that's it for me. That was the Vivid Soul Oracle by Jessica Rasmussen. And like I said, you can find this on Etsy. I will put a link to her Etsy shop down below if you're interested. Uh, but when I create these uh, review videos more, I do them for uh, showing off uh, wonderful pieces of art. But hey, if you're interested in the deck, then, you know, I always try to put the link down below. And uh, if you have any comments or questions about this, again, comment section down below. Maybe you have it. Maybe you work with it differently. Um, maybe you have comments because like you want to, you want to get it. And, or maybe you have a deck that's similar. I don't know. But anyway, that's it for me, spiritual homies. If you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading from me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com where I also have a link to my Etsy shop where you can get all of my wonderful bracelets that I make, my room and body sprays, my healing salves, my brand new Goddess of the Rose salve, which is a beauty salve. Um, created from my my roses from my garden and um, you can also pick up my Wally's World Oracle yay <laughs> and there's only a limited supply of them because I only uh, printed up a small number for my Wally's World Oracle and if you want to send a little love my way maybe think about joining that KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kittens weights and tarot where you get uh, crystal grids of the month weekly readings monthly readings uh, monthly live chats all kinds of good stuff so definitely check it out and I will catch you spiritual homies later all right peace love and chicken grease peace out